Hey guys, good afternoon. I'm starting this day in the life kind of late, but I was working on a video. I have been working on it for quite a while, but it's only six minutes long when you guys see it. I still need to do my thumbnail and fill out the description box and add the cards in and all of that, but needed to break away from my computer for a little bit. So I figured I would do a day in the life because I haven't done one in a while. But before I forget, I've been reading some really good books and you guys know I love murder mysteries and I keep getting asked what I'm reading, especially on Instagram. I shared uh, what I was reading recently and I wanted to tell you guys about it in case you don't follow me on Instagram, but you should because I do post a lot on Instagram. The author is Debbie Howells and she has written two novels and I just looked it up and she has two more coming out this year. So I read The Bones of You and The Beauty of the End. I took them back to the library already, but The Beauty of the End was so, so good. Both of them are really good, but I really liked that one. It was like, it kept you wanting to read it. And you guys know I like murder mysteries, so both of them are, but um, they're not really gory or anything like that. The Bones of You has like a love story kind of intertwined in it, so it's really a good book. So I'm going to make some granola bars and I'm just gonna do a few other things around here. And I thought you guys could hang out with me today. So anyway, let's get going. I wanted to show you these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. I just walked past them. I got these roses at Aldi for $3.99 and they are so beautiful. And I did post on Instagram. You guys are seeing this video a whole week and a half after I record it. I just like to do my videos if I can a week ahead of time, it just makes it a lot easier for me. So anyway, aren't they so, so gorgeous? So check Aldi if you're wanting some flowers. And while I'm standing here, I wanted to show you this candle. It's papaya guava, it's bird's bee, it's a soy candle. It smells so, so good. And while I'm standing here, um, I wanted to show you this. And I did this show you this on Instagram a while ago, but who absolutely loved this book when they were a kid? It was my favorite. We used to get it in our school library and you would just wait for it to be your turn to finally get this. And John found this at a thrift store. I believe it was like last year, but this was my favorite poem. Let me know if you guys know this book. If not, you'll probably think this is boring, but this was my favorite. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. It's super cute. So I am making my granola bars. I recorded a video on this at my old house. It's an older video, but if you want the recipe, you can find it there. But I have four cups of oats, two cups of rice cereal. These aren't gluten-free. You can make them gluten-free. If you make sure to get gluten-free uh, rice cereal, this is not, because I'm not eating these. And then oats are gluten-free, but they can be contaminated with gluten. So um, you might wanna get gluten-free oats too. But the rest is gluten-free. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that because a lot of times people assume, you know, when I'm making it's gluten-free and I'm not eating these, so they're not gluten-free. I think I already shared my apron with you guys, but I think it's super cute. It says, life is short, dance in the kitchen. And if you guys knew me really well, you would know I'm always, definitely always singing, especially in the car, and I'm always dancing around my kitchen. But I don't do that on YouTube, because I'm 41, and I would definitely embarrass myself and my kids. So that stays off camera, but if you love to Dance in your kitchen, super cute apron. I got it at Home Goods, and I think it was super cheap, like $7.99 or something like that. It was under $10. So. All right, now I am cooking the brown sugar, butter, and honey. And this makes a big 13 by nine dish of granola bars. Then you just mix it in with the oats and the rice cereal. Then you're just going to dump it in a 13 by nine dish. You got to smash this stuff down like crazy. Like you could not just leave it like this. You gotta really press it in there a lot so that it's going to firm up. 
Now I was asked if you can add the chocolate chips to the mixture and I would not recommend it because the mixture is hot and they're going to melt in there. So they even melt just a tiny, tiny bit, putting them on top, but not, you can't really notice. All right, so I'm just cutting up some strawberries and blackberries. I rinse them with a little bit of vinegar that helps them to last a little bit longer. And I have been asked about washing them and then putting them in the fridge, Does that doesn't that cause them to get mushy or whatever? So here's the thing, strawberries or berries in general last like two days in my house because we love them. Um, people are more apt to eat them if they're already washed and cut and so it works in our family but we go through berries like crazy these look really really good I just got these yesterday it is so so nice out I have the patio doors open and the windows open it feels so good I need to get back to work though. I have my crystal wash balls out there recharging. Uh, it's so nice. All right, I'm gonna get back to work and then maybe I can go outside after. All right, so I have my video all set, which will have already been up by the time that you watch this video, but I got it all set. Now I'm just going to schedule it on my blog and Facebook and then I'll get the Instagram post all ready so that it's all set to go. All right, I am working on dinner. So we're having burgers that John will grill and homemade fries. So I did sweet potato fries, so I just sliced up a sweet potato, added a little avocado oil. I like avocado oil because it's a high heat oil. And then I added the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's and just tossed it together. And then I'll bake those. I made these in, I think, my What I Ate This Week video. I think that's what which one it was. But I made sweet potato fries with the chili lime seasoning. And then I sprinkled cilantro and goat cheese on top. I think that's all. And it was so good. I don't have any goat cheese, but I do have cilantro. So I don't think my guys will like those. So I made them regular fries and I'll just add a little oil and salt for theirs. I forgot to show you the granola bars. Those of you who have watched me for a long time are like, yeah, we've seen these a million times, but I do have new subscribers since I've shown them. So I left mine in the refrigerator for a while because I kind of forgot about them, but it's no problem if you do. And then I just cut mine into 12 pieces and you can see I cut mine big because like I said, my boys need bigger ones, but yummy granola bars and you know everything that's in there. So I'll link the recipe below if you want to try them. All right, we're having dinner. This is my plate. I have avocado, red onion, tomato, and cilantro. And then my sweet potato fries. So John and I are headed to Lowe's to get a new glass door. We were trying to decide on a front door. We were going to get the whole thing. We saved up the money. But we said, no, that's dumb. <laughs> it was going to be a lot of money. And we were basically going to get the same exact thing that we have. But we have the radiest glass door. It's just a hunk of junk. And well, I, we were going to do a wood door. Yeah, like we, a fiberglass yeah door. we were going to do a wood door and everything. But it was going to be like the same exact basic door except for wood and it was going to be a whole lot of money like thousands of dollars and we were about to get it and then we thought about it more and I kept I actually prayed about it and the more we thought about it the more we were like eh, maybe we should just keep the door and get a new glass door because 
the thing is um, we are going to take off the screen door and then the way it's set into our house it wouldn't work and it would have probably ended up being a lot more money when they came out and actually did it right right all the molding and everything around on the in inside yeah we were worried that, that was gonna get all ripped out yeah so I can't wait to get this because we get to go pick it up they came in measured for it and everything so we're just replacing this yeah not the whole actual door <laughs> we just saved ourselves thousands and we can do some other projects that we wanted to do and then this is the side door and we're going to get a new glass door for this if you guys watched my vlog where the door ripped off the hinges and was laying in my garage and then blew me down the driveway <laughs> <laughs> the wind was so strong that it just ripped it right off and that's real wood and in our sub we have to have real wood it's just one of the things we have to have so anyway um he said that if you don't put the glass door back on that wood will rot right that's the deal yeah i mean it would just rain on that wood yeah you know forever and then it would start rotting yeah so we're going to go get a new glass door for that too well, that's kind of exciting. We're we're working on a few things on the exterior of our home and uh, trying to pick our projects for the money that we have saved for it. So we got our doors ordered with the Lowe's, wrapped all that up. Now we're on to our, uh, our movie watching adventure. We're going through a list of the uh, 100 greatest movies in the whole wide world. <laughs> and we're on uh, about number what seven or something like that yeah what is that list what, um american, american film institute yeah, top 100 we watched uh gone with the wind casablanca casablanca the wizard of oz we've seen that of course citizen kane yeah some of them we've seen and some of them we haven't but it's cool because we're watching a lot of classics that we haven't seen or one of us has seen and the other hasn't or whatever. I'm personally waiting for number 15 which is Star Wars. You guys I haven't seen <laughs> all of this. I've only watched one Star Wars movie with John at the movie theater when we were engaged I think and I think I fell asleep at the movie theater. I'm just not a huge It was when they introduced the the remastered or the the uh that was in the 90s whatever yeah like okay. when george lucas redid the star wars films you probably remember so that was a big deal so we went to the movie theater and saw that yeah my kids were totally into star wars when they were kids yeah they're still kids i'm tired but <laughs> when, <laughs> when they, they were, used to be kids they yeah. were really into it <laughs> when they were younger and they would tell me about the characters, so I can I can name off some of the characters, but I just never really watched it. John would watch it with them, but I'm going to. Now like, this list, if you're looking it up, it only goes up to 1998, so yeah, it doesn't it, include a bunch of newer like Titanic films. and stuff. Yeah, it's not on there. There's another list we were looking at. It was a top 250 list, and that one had a lot of recent movies I'll link I'll link the one that we're using below but use your own discretion because you know I know some people I'm just saying because some yeah. of them were choosing not to watch them. yeah we're not gonna watch all of them on the yeah. list, but anyway we're gonna call it a night as you can tell I'm it's, it's past my falling asleep on the couch time so, so you can barely hold the camera <laughs> off the poor I thing I know I'm tired <laughs> Aww. Thanks so much for watching, guys.